Yo guys, it's Gamer Crew here, and today I've got another story for you. This is about how I got robbed. Um, this happened about 10, no, not 10, 5 years ago, and yeah, like 2010. Um, yeah, so 5 years ago, it was the day after Christmas, which is Boxing Day. I'm not sure what you guys call it in other in the, your country, but in New Zealand we call it Boxing Day. Um, and yeah, so we got invited by some family friends to... It's like a normal, it's a tradition pretty much now, like we do it all the time, but every Boxing Day we go to our family friends and have dinner and um, chill out and stuff like that and play games and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it, it was about 10 o'clock when we, um, it, was like, it was like 7 o'clock when we left and then it was 10 o'clock when we came back. Uh, we're, we came back home, it was 10 o'clock and we opened the door and nothing was too suspicious at first like nothing looked like it didn't look like we got robbed until we went into our uh, lounge room and we saw that the dvd player was gone and there were like finger marks all over our tv screen and the reason our tv our tv was not taken was because it's wall mounted and they would have had to drill out the hot um, screws and everything like that but yeah they tried to take that anyway and um, we went into my brother's room and his laptop was gone and, and our family laptop was gone. Um, but a DVD player was taken. Um, my parents' drawers were all open. My room wasn't very touched, to be honest. Um, well, my brother, it was me and my brother in this room. So, but like our room wasn't very touched. Just my brother's laptop was taken and some other stuff. I can't exactly remember everything that was taken. Probably some money and stuff like that. Some jewelry, I think. Uh, I just <laughs> cracked, oh god, um, but yeah, some jewellery and stuff like that, and um, yeah, I don't remember exactly what was, but the main things were two laptops, a DVD player, some money and stuff like that, but I actually had some money under my um, Christmas present, and my Christmas present wasn't taken because it was a, a remote control boat, so I don't know why they would have taken it in the first place, but yeah, it was a, ro a remote control boat, and I actually hid my money under there for no actual reason, I just put it under there. Um, and luckily they did not look under there, I don't know why they would have in the first place anyway, um, but yeah, that's how we got robbed pretty much, it was, it was a pretty, um, scary, um, you know, uh, pretty scary moment, but, you know, it happened, you can't really help it, um, the way they got in was they got through our, um, toilet window and they, like, wedged open the window, so our windows are, like, those, those small little windows that, like, go up, you know, they go up, they don't go out, they go up, you can push them up and then, screw it like you got those two little knobs on each side and you screw those to tighten it and so they don't fall, it doesn't fall down um they somehow wedged it open and then just climbed in and they left their, their fingerprints all over and everything they're pretty stupid because in the end we actually caught them uh we didn't catch him um not the actual police it was actually a priest um we i don't remember what how he caught them um something happened i don't exactly know because i was only i was only 11 10 so i can't exactly remember how it they actually got caught but they didn't go to prison or anything like that because they were underage i think two of them were underage the other one that wasn't underage actually got away he um went to he ran off to like another city and they couldn't find him and he um with the insurances we got our our family laptop back and we got our uh and that's pretty much all we actually got back and some other stuff i can't exactly remember um but they took they took my brother's laptop and they got away with the dvd player but we did get those two things back from insurance insurance did pay up but um insurance told us we had to put deadlocks deadbolt locks all on all of our windows and we've got a security alarm now as well so yeah it's made a big difference because the deadlocks we have to if we don't have them and we got robbed again we wouldn't get paid for insurance so yeah that's why we had to do it um but yeah we did catch them and they had to do this family meeting thing we had to like see them and stuff um they haven't done anything since we don't know that we know of anyway um nothing's happened to us but yeah um and a quick little update before i end this video i will be, i will be moving very soon to actually a whole new city um it's called auckland if you live in new zealand you know what i what i'm talking about it's like the biggest city in the, in new zealand it's got over like 1.5 million people in it which isn't a lot if you live in America, because 1.5 million people isn't a lot to Americans, because, like, if you live in New York, it's, there's, like, 10 million people there, so, yeah, but, yeah, there's a lot of people living there, um, and we're moving there on, like, mid-January, so I will be quite soon, so it's pretty much after Christmas we're moving, so I will be actually doing a new 
set up to her when I move into my new house and that won't be till February or March I'm not too certain February maybe March um, because we're not moving to our house straight away we're going to be moving into a like apartment sort of thing for a little while because the house that we're moving in is getting built and it's not finished yet so yeah um, it won't be finished in time when we move um, but yeah, I'll be moving to Auckland. Um, it's going to be a pretty cool experience. I've never moved in my life. I've been, I've lived at this house for my whole life since I was born. So yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this um, video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and peace.